Hi everyone, Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me here. I am gonna show you how to create the candy cane border around your crochet piece. Uh, this is just like I did with my Christmas lights uh, blanket. And as you can see, I added this gorgeous crochet candy cane border, perfect for the Christmas season, so festive. Um, it really works um, not only for the holiday season, but you could do it in any colors of your choosing. I've seen it in pinks and grays on baby blankets and um, in creams and whites, and it just looks really gorgeous on any piece. So to show you how to do this, because um, I know there's been a lot of questions on how to start and finish and uh, how to do the corners, I'm just going to go ahead and show you on this uh, little granny square. Obviously you would be creating this edging around a larger blanket, but uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you how to do it um, just along the edges here. So I have two uh, skeins of yarn here. Um, I'm using Bernat Super Value in my two Christmassy colors. I'm using the red and green. You can obviously do this in any colors of your choosing. We're going to alternate the two colors. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a place to start. This was, you can't really see, but uh, this was kind of where my joining line was. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start here in the middle. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna join in your yarn. And I don't even have a slip stitch. I just kind of joined it in there. And then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And now I'm just gonna leave kind of a loop there so it doesn't come unraveled. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna go on to the next stitch. And here's where I'm gonna go ahead and join in the green. Same thing as I did with the red. One, two, three, four. Okay, leave the loop hanging. Okay, go back to the red. And now you're gonna work in the next stitch, the one right after that green. And you're gonna single crochet and chain four. One, two, three, four. Leave it, leave the loop there, okay? Let's go back into our green. And now you're just gonna go over the red and you're gonna go into this next stitch. Single crochet. One, two, three, four chains. Okay, here we go, here's the start of it. Go back into my red. Over this green into the next stitch, single crochet, one, two, three, four. Okay, back into the green, into the next, single crochet, one, two, three, four. Do you see how this is nicely looping over each other, creating this gorgeous border? Okay, into the next, single crochet, one, two, three, oop, three, four. Go back into the green. We're at our corner. Don't let the corners intimidate you. The corners are worked just like the rest of the edge, except for you're gonna do this uh, you're gonna do the sequence twice. So you're gonna have two reds and two greens in the corner. So here's my first one and it's gonna be, your yarn will get a little tangled by the way. So you'll just have to untangle as you go. Okay, so single crochet in the corner. One, two, three, four. Okay, back into my red. Okay, I'm still working in the corner. 
single crochet. One, two, three, four. Okay, back into my green here. So I have two, I have a, I have a green and a red. We're gonna do that one more time, all in the corner. So I'm still working in my corner. One, two, three, four. Let's get my red there. Still working in the corner. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have our corner. Two greens and two reds all in the corner. And then we're just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna lay this down here. I'm gonna keep going around. See how the yarn tangles up a little bit? Yeah, that's what happens. So we just kind of untangle as we go here. You may have to take your, your yarn. Probably would've been easier if I had rolled it into a ball, but I didn't. Okay. This is going that should be good enough for now. Let's pull some more through. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to keep going here. Just continuing, alternating the reds and the greens. Okay, here I am back at the corner again. Just remember I'm doing two greens and two reds in the corner. Okay, looking good guys, look at that. Got our beautiful candy cane border. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop and untangle again. I know, it's not convenient, but I think the little bit of extra work that this, um, that this entails is so worth it because it looks so great on a finished piece.
bracket another corner. Last corner. Ah. Okay, we're getting to the end here. So here, do you see I have this last one? I'm actually gonna skip this. This was just my, my joining chain there. So we're not even gonna worry about that because what you want to happen is, you're gonna want this to connect right to the last one here, to the bottom of where you first started. So let's just join that. Let me get my scissors. You're just gonna wanna, 
you're gonna have, you're gonna have to weave this in. I'll have to do that in a minute after I clip my green yarn. Okay, now I'm gonna take my green, and you're just gonna join that in. My yarn's tangled. Okay, you're just gonna join that to the bottom here. green look okay. now I can really show you guys because you're just gonna weave in these ends yay remember you have to weave in your ends in the back too this is where you started so there we go Weave those in, and you can't even tell that that's going to be where you started and you stopped. So let's look at this. Let me lay it down flat. Spread it out. I have some loose ends back there. And there you have it. There is your pretty candy cane border let's zoom in looking gorgeous as ever this is where we joined you're just going to weave those in hope you enjoyed you can find this in the pattern on repeatcraftermead.com